Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is a general collective tarot reading session for you, Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, okay? This reading for today is for the Virgo friends out there. What is the weekly general collective reading that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for you, Virgo, okay? Before I start, Virgo, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button in the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Virgo, I invite you to connect with me via my social media account. The details of the social media account is down in the description box below. Um, private reading, extended reading, um, the details on how to avail of that, of the services. Uh, the direct link is down in the description box below or head towards the website. Um, the merchandise, the 100 Days of Grati Gratitude Journal is still available. Um, it has two, three, or four different covers that you can choose from. It is free shipping worldwide. It comes with a planner. And um, yeah, check it out. It is it is in the website, okay? So let's see what's coming towards you. In the weekly reading, we will be looking at the, the past energy, the present energy, and then we will be looking at the immediate future predictive outcome and advice. And depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading, okay? So let's start your reading, Virgo. Let me just cross you out in my list. Okay, coming in the past, Virgo, is you've got the Death Card, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. It seems to be that you have moved on with something, with somebody, okay? Um, you have moved on, you've gotten over something. Like, you've, you've totally forgotten about this person or this situation. They came back. Or someone is about to return to you. I feel like this is your energy, Four of Swords. You are at peace. Like you're minding your own business. You have moved on. You are You are where you are right now. Where you can really say, I'm okay. I'm at, I'm at peace. Or somehow, Four of Swords, you're more relaxed. You're more... Um, you feel more settled because you've got here the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups in here. I feel like there's something within you in the reading today where you've come to a point of acceptance, okay? You've accepted it. You've moved on with it. Um, Seven of Pentacles, you have progressed well. You've done a good job. Whatever you, Whatever you are doing, you are at peace. You've done a good job. Your progression out of this toxic person or not so good situation it's really tracking well okay now um from the past energy going to the current energy it seems to be the person the situation that you have moved on okay unexpectedly i see them turning their back around and offering you the same thing that rejected you so there is gonna be a turnaround of event where the person who rejected you or a situation that does not like you or did not entertain you or did not allow you, they will reoffer it to you. It seems to be an energy of tables has turned. And it is happening right now or about, it's about to happen right now. I mean, look at the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. I feel like you have the opportunity to say no to a person, to a situation that once upon a time, they have declined you. They did. You have moved on. You have you have put a lot of effort moving on from the rejection, from the person. You have put a lot of effort um, navigating out of this. And you're very, very proud of yourself that you have managed to rise from this culprit from this person, from this situation. It will knock on your door again. Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. You are very, very stable. You are so at peace. You are just so great and settled. Something tells me that you're kind of okay. For some of you, you're not 100% forgotten the person, but you have forgotten the feelings of failure. 
yeah, you have moved on from the feelings of being rejected or failure, you're okay. You're stable. So I see this person or situation, a big time comeback, Ace of Pentacles. And you've got a choice. All right? You've got the two pentacles in here. You've got a choice to say no. You know? You hold the whip. You know that... um that Game of Thrones scene where Daenerys, she bought the army and she needs to pay the the person, the guy who's sold her the army. And um, she holds the whip, you know, so you command the situation. This is in your command. You possess something that that same person, that same situation, that group of people who rejected you, they now want you. And it is, you know, tables is turned. This is you. In the immediate future, you are the queen. You've got choice. Two of pentacles. You know, to proceed with a new love or to proceed with your career. Because in the present moment, you have nine of pentacles. Right now, your energy is go. Your, right now, your energy, Virgo, is going towards money, money, stability, money making mean money making meeting friends creating happy moments there's no love here or there's no personal relationship in here however it's gonna come back so you've got a choice which do you want to continue do you want to continue like this nine of pentacles stable easy no stress or do you want to go back to that love situation that once upon a time rejected you you've got a choice but it's the, the red flag in here is two pentacles. If you accept that same person, it might lead you to the same outcome in the past that you have moved on. If you did not learn the lesson, you might end up with the same cycle that you have tried and worked hard to move on. You know, you have forgotten the rejection of feelings in here. The feelings attached to rejection you have moved on with that. However, this person will come back and it will remind you of that. Not just the feelings of rejection, the feelings of love, the feelings of being friends with them, the feelings of having them. It will remind you that feeling. It's a good feeling. It will also remind you of the disappointment. So you've got that balancing, you know, that juggling, that balancing. Um, I feel like whatever happened in your decision, Virgo, I feel like you are equipped with the learning, the experience, because in the immediate future, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. It means that you are going to activate the Virgo in you. You will be practical because in the past, you're quite emotional. Right now, you're quite emotional. You're move on somehow the feelings of being with them, connecting with them. It is reminding you how happy you are. But you're going to be wise. Nine of Pentacles. You're moving to Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be very practical. Okay? And um, yeah, I really feel like you need to play it smart and play it cool and have fun at the same time. You have moved on. You have worked hard. You have progressed a lot. Don't forget about how you have become who you are right now, how you have accomplish or rise from this death card knight of pentacles and four of swords okay Th remember the moment remember the feelings remember the learnings okay so thank you virgo for tuning in thanks for coming back thanks for being here again guys if you would like to explore explore the merchandise the gratitude journal it's free shipping worldwide it is a very good practice for mindfulness if you haven't done that I would suggest to check it out, guys. It has four simple questions inside, four mindfulness questions. It is undated. You know, it started off in the morning with today I'm grateful for. And then you also have a space to create or to write how you would like to manifest. What do you want to achieve or, you know, would like to do within the day? In the evening, you can catch up with the list of, you know, amazing things that you have achieved. This is where you acknowledge success, your wins, and then how do you feel right now? This is to close off your day. And, um, yeah, it's a good way to touch base with yourself. You know, it's a good mindfulness practice. And if you haven't done this, this is an introduction to journaling. 
100 days of gratitude. It's free shipping worldwide. And it comes with a free cosmic notebook. You can, you know, use this if you work from home. If you are outside the U.S., this is what you're going to get. If outside, if you are within the U.S., you're going to get the uh, Cosmic Planner, okay? So all of the details is in the website. So thank you for listening to my, um, to my stuff. <laughs> I'll see you soon and you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.